What is up everyone? The goal of today's video should be to get my PC as silent as I possibly can. So stay tuned. So guys, you are looking into my main machine, which sits in an old Apple G5 Mac Pro, which I got it out and put a new um, motherboard tray in and screwed everything down. And yeah, so this is my main machine. I do all of my editing and stuff like that on it. And at the moment it is sit sitting on idle. But um, later on I will show you how loud this machine can be if I start rendering and stuff like that or playing games and stuff. Um, and so I thought, yes, we have to change that. The interesting part is I have a lot of coolers here in my, or uh, fans in my, uh, uh, in, in my PC that are of amazing quality. In the front of the case I have two Arctic fan fans and on the back you can see another one the um, the GPU um, has also quite good fans they are completely silent the only thing that is making noise in this PC is the CPU cooler which is the boxed standard one and I hope you can hear the ambient noise the PC is sitting on complete idle and what I'm going to do now is I will start an export and then you will hear what the machine does when it's fully loaded Yeah, so... <laughs> there you have the sound of my PC. It's really, really bad. And for one second I will... Um, I will let the fan of the CPU stop just for a second so that you can hear where this noise all comes from so yes you heard that right all the fans are silent just the CPU cooler is running like crazy 
So, goal of today should be to replace that CPU cooler by something much better and much quieter. So guys, here we have the replacement for the CPU cooler. It is from Arctic and it's called the Freezer 13. And it's one hell of a cooler and it should cool my CPU down really really good. It has eight heat pipes, four on each side, and they are cooled by a massive fan. So that should give me a lot of cooling, good cooling. The only problem that we will have is to fit it in, because the case of the Mac Pro is quite cramped. Uh, that also is the reason why the cable management is not good to say the least in this case yeah so we will have a look in how we do that so the first thing we have to do is and I'm sorry for the cable mess down here we have to get this old CPU cooler out of the way. So let's do that. There is a release notch on here and is unplugged so let's get it out here there it comes it comes right off there you go guys if you compare the original CPU cooler with the new one yeah the it's quite clear how much of a difference that will make. So we should improve quite a lot. Having better cooling performance and a much much quieter PC. The only problem we will have is to get it in because of all of this cable mess. But we will tackle that. Okay guys, so the instructions say that we have to get the fan off and it is hold here. By those clips. right off and now what you have to do is you get those plates and you have to screw them in but not completely Tighten them up so the finished process 
the finished product looks like so. Uh, there we go, so yeah, it's hanging like so, and you can wobble it. You will have to tighten that up when it's installed. Okay, so let's do the second one. So before you want to install the new uh, CPU cooler, you want to wipe off all of the old uh, thermal paste. Therefore you use a bit of toilet paper or stuff like that and um, use um, uh, a bit of rubbing alcohol or wiping gasoline or stuff like that. Yeah. So now we have a clean base on which we can put the new cooler. So guys, I have a problem with this cooler. It's not the cooler's fault, it's the fault of the mount of my motherboard. I initially wanted the airflow to go sucking air through like so and pushing it out in this direction but the problem is we look at the CPU cooler the mount just allows it to be put like that so it pushes from down there to up there or in the other direction so it will push the air down here that was not what I intended to do. The problem is if if I put the fan um, so that it blows in this direction, so down here, then we have a lot of hot air down here which can go out um, because there is a fan pushing it in this direction, uh, pulling it in this direction and there is a lot of vents down there. If I put it in the other direction, I will get a lot of hot air on my graphics card which is just over there. So I don't want to have that. So I will put it in this direction. It's not optimal, but most things aren't. So. Let's get it on.
on my words guys that was one of the hardest things I've ever done into in PCs the place was really 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 cramped but yeah finally it's in looking marvelous it really fits good in here and yeah I hope it will do the test nicely so I will reconnect it fire up windows and then we will see I will see you later so guys as you can see I was quite successful with this my PC is running completely silent at the moment the one thing making a noise is my server and sometimes the hard drives make a bit of a noise but the fans in the PC are completely silent that is quite a big improvement what I will do now is show you how loud this PC will get while running on full speed rendering a video so let's start that process That's really there is no difference whatsoever it just runs silently so that was quite a successful thing to do with my PC I'm happy to have done it I love this CPU cooler check it out it's not uh, expensive it's between 20 and 30 bucks and this improves my system quite a bit so thank you very much everybody for watching goodbye